guys, it's Sebastian here from Wall Grace Vintage. In today's video, we'll be talking about the Fender Gold Foil Series. Fender has the rare ability of always reinventing themselves and coming up with new models that just feel fresh and timeless at the same time. The Gold Foil Series is no exception. So this series is inspired after the wave of garage rock that happened in the 60s and the cold guitars that they use in that era. So let's dive in and talk about some of the models that they offer. First of all, we have here the Jazz Master. Um, this is very far from a uh, conventional Jazz Master. Starting off with the wood selection, you have a mahogany body, maple neck with an ebony fretboard. Um, the neck is actually very, very comfortable. It has a 60s uh, profile, which is quite thin, but again, like I said, very comfortable. Uh, you have a bound fretboard, jumbo frets, and block inlays. Uh, the jumbo frets makes uh, this thing just feels like butter. It's just very, very comfortable to play, like I said. Uh, the matching headstock in shoreline gold, uh, vintage style tuners with wide buttons. Uh, you have a Bixby as well, and well, three gold foil pickups. These pickups are severely underrated. They sound really good, they have so much bite. Uh, they're very different from a, a conventional humbuckers, and yes, they are mini humbuckers. So you get no hum, but you get a ton of clarity and just a sound that is very inspiring and really, really cool. You also have a, this classic Jazzmaster switch, and well, each switch corresponds to a pickup, so you engage them on and off the circuit, as well as a volume and a tone with this super cool witch hat white uh, knob. The guitar feels, again, fantastic. They sound really, really, really cool, and they play really well. So moving on to the next guitar, here we have the Gold Foil Telecaster. This thing, as you can see, is much less ornate than the Jazzmaster, but it has the same feel, same style of pickup. The neck, again, doesn't have the, the binding or the nice block inlays. It's much simpler, but it feels very similar with the exception of the radius. This is a 12 inch radius, so much flatter if you like that. And then the Jazzmaster, like I said, it has a nine and a half radius. That's mainly the difference here. Other than that, they're very similar as far as like the components, you know, the same pickups. You only have two instead of three. A three-way selector, just like a classic tally, as well as a volume and tone. And then you have this really cool cutout bridge with brass saddles that you know are feel really good and are really well intonated from the factory. They come in a variety of finishes. The one that we have here has this really cool burgundy to black uh, fade, which looks fantastic. It also comes in cream, um, but it looks really good either way. And we'll be running them through the Tonkin Gremlin which is a little five watt uh, amp that has an attenuator built into the back so you can really dime it and get that natural amp distortion without the volume. Uh, it's a wonderful pairing with these two guitars and I can't wait for you guys to hear it. <laughs>
guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to find out more about these guitars, the links will be down below in the description. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram at Walgreens Vintage and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy our content. For more information, visit our website, WalgreensVintage.com. My name is Sebastian. Until next time.